Periodic Table Scavenger Hunt. This worksheet consists of four pages. Uh, you can get a copy of this worksheet in the link below. The purpose of this worksheet is to help students get more comfortable with the periodic table by looking around on the periodic table. All right, direction. Use the periodic table of elements in your textbook to explore and learn to use the periodic table. You can get a copy of the periodic table on Google or look in the back of your agenda from school. To answer each of the questions below, draw the atomic number, chemical symbol, and elements name in the boxes provided. So in this box here, they only want these three things. Of course, on the periodic table, there is a lot more, but we'll just focus on those three. Let's use an example. Let's do with oxygen. So we take a look at our periodic table. Here's oxygen. They want the atomic number. 8, the symbol O, and the chemical name, which is oxygen. And for now, the number below it, we'll just ignore that for now. Okay, so our atomic number is 8, the chemical symbol o, oxygen, and the element name oxygen. This is the way they would like us to fill in for each of the box, so we'll keep it that way. Just kind of get used to it, just learning about the periodic table, just the simple stuff. Don't worry too much about the advanced stuff for now. Okay, section one, names and symbols. Number one, find at least three elements named after countries. For number one and two, I'll work with you guys because a lot of students may not know these stuff. So let's find three elements named after countries. Let's take a look at our periodic table. Here, for example, number 87, we have is Francium, which is named after France. So atomic number 87, FR, Francium. Okay, let's look for two more. <clears throat> um... Down here we have is Europium, but Europium is actually not a country, it is a continent after Europe. So Europe is a continent, so that one doesn't work. Um, right below it we have is Americium, which is named after America, and that's a country, so we can put that one down. And up over here, 32, we have is Germanium, named after Germany. All right, uh, see if you can find any other elements named after any countries. Okay, number two, find at least three elements named after scientists. And name the scientists. All right, let me work this one out with you guys. Um, on the periodic table, we have the very popular scientist Einstein. Um, there's Mendeley, the one who discovered the periodic table. Um, Laurentium, and also Curium, named after Marie Curie. So you can put any of those scientists down. And there's lots of other scientists. See if you can spot the other ones. All right, let's move on to our second page. Number three, find one element named after a state and one name after a continent. If we look down here, number 98, we have is Californium. It's named after California. So that's a state. Okay, and the one name after a continent earlier we mentioned is Europium, which is named after Europe. 
that's a continent. Number four, find three elements named after planets. So for example, Neptunium, that's named after Neptune. Okay, see if you can find any other ones. Number five, find one element that sounds like your name and one that sounds like it should be in a comic book. If you can't find an element that sounds like your name, just find an element that starts with the same letter as your name. That's fine too. And one that should be in a comic book, I'll give you a hint. It's on the right hand side. Number six, find at least five elements whose symbols do not match their names. So example of those is like number 19, potassium. Notice how it start with the symbol K, but the name is potassium. It doesn't start with the letter K. So that's one example. Another example just right above it we have is sodium, which starts with the NA instead. Most element sounds the same way that the symbols look. For example, magnesium, it's both MG and it starts with the letter M. So it sounds very similar. And also beryllium is also very similar to its symbol as well. Okay, so find five elements that do not match their names. So one example we picked was potassium. Okay, so go ahead and find the rest. Number seven, what is the only letter not appearing on the periodic table as a symbol or part of the symbol? Okay, so go ahead and look around the periodic table, see which letter does not appear on the periodic table. All of these elements are named after someone or somewhere is found. So maybe in the future, there's a lot of extra elements that haven't been found. Maybe if you discover in the future, you can name it after whatever you want. Like, for example, your name. All right, let's move on to page three, section two, families and periods. Define families and periods. Okay, families are also known as groups and they are the columns on the periodic table. So like this column going down, that's one family or group. This is another column, this is another column. So those are all families and groups. When you talk about families and groups, you're basically talking about the column of the periodic table. And for periods, you probably guess would be the rows. So those are the rows on the periodic table. Number three, find three elements in the same family. So again, this is column. That means you're looking for three elements that's going down in a column. Any column is fine. Just pick any column and then list three elements that's consecutive. And number four is find any elements in the same period. So any elements that runs in the same row, any three consecutive elements that is in the same row. That's number four. Okay, so I will put 10 minutes on the clock for you guys to uh, work on those pieces. And then after that, we'll move on to the last page.
Okay, so this is our last page. If you needed more time, just pause the video and then finish up the first three pages. And if you're ready, let's move on to the last page. Section three, types of elements. So here we have is the periodic table. Um, they give us a list of different types of groups that are found on the periodic table. So we're gonna look for those by using different highlights. Okay, so first we have is the metals group. We'll use green for the metals group. The only way to know which group has which property is you have to look up on the periodic table on Google or in the agenda from your school. It will tell you which group it is. There isn't really a way to memorize this. So here are the metal groups. It covers everything that is highlighted in green. Um, don't worry too much about the ones on the bottom. You have to be exact with those. What we want to focus on is notice that H, even though it's over here, is not part of the metal group. And then mostly meta group takes up a large majority portion of the periodic table. Okay, next we have is the metalloids. The metalloid is just this staircase right over here and you probably notice there is a uh, black border in your agenda for that. Metalloids are half metal and half non-metal so they're kind of mixed between those two and they're found right here. Next we have is the non-metals and it sounds just like the name they are not metals. So the non-metals we have is hydrogen and everything to the right hand side of the metalloid. So just you don't have to remember the exact location where the breaks occur but at least just kind of keep in mind that okay we see the metals are mostly in the middle, the metalloids right here, the staircase, and then the non-metals are on the right hand side. And then within the non-metals are the noble gases. The noble gas group is the easiest to spot. They are the very last column on the right side of the periodic table and they are also found inside the non-metals group. Later on we'll learn about them and then see their special properties which makes them very noble gas-like. Okay, let's go over the questions. Number one, find the element that makes plumbing pipes. Is it a metal, non-metal, or metalloid? So that would be PB and that would be lead. So PB lead is right here, it's within the green borders, therefore it belongs to the metal groups. Now you may not know some of these questions, which is why I'm going over the question with you. Okay, number two, find element that makes glowing signs. What special group is it in? That would be NE, neon. It's in two groups. So once you look on the PR table at the top where we highlighted, find what two groups that is in. And especially what special group is it in. Okay, number three, find the element that makes milk good for your health. That would be Ca calcium. Go ahead, find Ca calcium on the periodic table and find out which group it belongs to, either metal, non-metal, or metalloid. All right, so for this last page, we worked on pretty much everything together. You just have to answer question number two and question number three.